outside and peaceful aura. Well, another nickname of Aswan is the land of gold, because this is the resting place of Nubian pharaohs. So we have here Nubian pharaoh.
capital it's Cairo and it's the capital of Egypt of course and it's the largest city so this is the region or governorate of Cairo located on the banks of the river uh, of the river Nile Cairo is known for preserving the last of the seven wonders of the ancient world the great pyramids of Giza so we have here Giza as a location it's the most visited location in Egypt the city is most famous for containing the famous Giza pyramid complex which is south of southwest of Cairo that holds one of the seven wonders the great pyramid of King Khufu the world's oldest and biggest statue is the Sphinx and the house of mummification in the valley temple and Cairo by the way it's one of the largest city in Africa in terms of climate Cairo has only two seasons four months of winter and eight months of summer good and this is about Cairo governorate and city and now let's move on next it's nearby it's Takalia uh, and uh, uh, the capital it's Mansura we have Takalia so and the capital is I will write it here Mansura Man Sura. good so that's the that's the capital of Takalia Mansura the capital it's famous for its architectural style especially the Shinavi Shinavi Palace okay um, I don't know if I can write it here okay Shinavi she with double N Shinavi Palace good and this city uh, Mansura was established in 12 uh, in 12 in 19 by Saladin Nufio Abu Bakr Malik Ibn Al Atil Butrel. This is a very hard to spell name. Abu Bakr Malik Ibn Al Atil. I think I, I spell it right. I hope. Nine. Okay. We're gonna stay in this area for a little bit because next in our list it's Damietta. It's a very small region here, Damietta. Good. So, the city, the capital city, it's Damietta. Well, this area or this region is very famous for its furniture industry. In addition to Egyptian market, its furniture is sold in Arab countries and Europe, of course. Damietta city is famous for its guava farms. So we have guava here. Guava, guava farms. As well as the palm trees that cover the coast from Ras El Bar to the east of Gamasa in the west. The governorates, these small governorates, exports millions of palm trees to many countries, including Greece and China. So, European and Chinese are importing palm trees from Egypt. Nice. This is a very curious fact. Good. Now, let's move next. Move a little bit south. We have Fayum. This region is with the capital with the same name, Fayum. Fayum is the source of some famous death, death masks or mummy portraits painted during the Roman occupation. This 
was once an oasis and it's called as a city or Fayum oasis or city oasis city was a region of ancient Egypt known for its fertility and abundance on animal life well it's a very fertile and today it continues to thrive as a result of its natural fertility which allow for which allow for the commercial growth of cash crops from grapes to lives. This region has the earliest evidence of farming in Egypt and was a center of royal pyramid and tomb building. Right, so the agriculture in Egypt is originating from this area or governorate now next next in our list is a little bit known Corbia which is this area this governorate Corbia it's called it's pointed outside with a line because it's too small and I will draw the contour so we have Corbia and the capital I will write it right here it's Tanta Suez Canal and Sinai. Tourists. 
Greece in Ismailia can be summarized by its wonderful green orchards and gardens, beautiful Demarche Lake and its amazing beaches. The Suez Canal, which is crossing by here, is the Suez Canal, which is in a very important commercial route between the Red Sea and Mediterranean. And, of course, we have here some delicious fried and grilled fish you ever taste. Well, uh, they have been best known to make a very good uh, fish food. So they have a very good fish cuisine. So if you want to taste their famous grilled fish, you should go to Ismailia. Alright, now let's move next. Next in our list, the governorate of Kafr el Sheikh, Kafr el Sheikh, which is right here in the north. Okay, I'm gonna draw the contour. Okay, so we have Kafr el Sheikh. Well, this region or this governorate is responsible for more than 40% of the total food production in Egypt. It's, uh, of course, it's in the uh, Nile Delta and it has very fertile lands. Kafr el Sheikh is an agriculture government with total cultivated area of 550,000 fedans and it's famous for production of rice, beets, wheat and cotton. Well, they have a very developed industry in dairy products, oil and soap. Right. This is about Kafr el Sheikh. Now let's move next. We're gonna move south and we're gonna talk about Luxor. Luxor, which is right here. So we have here. And this governor right is run by the city of Luxor, which is also the capital. Well, you know Luxor because it's very famous. It has a, a long uh, ancient heritage. It was the capital of the ancient kingdom. Today Luxor is known as the world greatest open air museum, home of the Egypt's most famous temples, tombs and monuments. The Valley of the Kings is located on the west bank of the Nile Rhine. Here is the Valley of the Kings near Luxor. It is the most famous site for the unique collection of tombs and ancient ruins. That location makes one of the hottest spots for exploring ancient Egyptian history. I think you may have heard about the Temple of Luxor, which is one of the greatest ancient archaeological sites in Egypt. The temple, big temple and museum of Luxor. Right. Okay. We're gonna move north again. Next in our list is Madru. Madru. This big region here. We have Madru. Okay, control the control. It is it's a very large area. Very large. Okay, the capital is Marsha. Marsha. Madru. Sand and calm waters. Uh, another 
tourist attraction. Good. Our next in our list is Minya. It's right here in the center. Minya, uh, which is along, which also the river Nile cross and the eastern side. It's 
the rate of poverty is one of the highest in the entire Egypt, more than 60% in this governorate uh, of the population are living in complete poverty, but uh, to it was originally some social safety networks are provided and uh, in the last years the poverty rate it's started to drop good now next next is Sohag okay Sohag is here along the river Nile well Sohag is famous for its Islamic monuments dating back in Fatimid era so Fatimid era right so we have Islamic monuments the governorate is famous for traditional crops such as wheat onions beans and cotton no, well they have uh, many agricultural sites that are producing wheat and cotton and rice of course good now next we're gonna move to south sinai the sinai peninsula and we're gonna talk about south sinai all right I think everyone has heard about Sinai and its biblical importance. Well, the important history is okay, the capital is El Tor. El Tor. And here is the land of Moses. So we have the land of Moses. Its own culture, the mountains. It's here, the Mount Sinai, with its unique nature, Mount Sinai or Moses Mountain, and the famous monastery of Saint Catherine. Well, Mount Sinai is the mountain on the peninsula. Yeah. And it's the possible location of the biblical Mount Sinai, the place where, according to Torah, Bible, and Quran, Moses has received the Ten Commandments. So, here in on this area we have the Mount Sinai, where Moses received the Ten Commandments from God. And this is a very important tourist and attraction right now let's move we're gonna stay nearby we're gonna talk about Suez yes it's not the Suez channel it's the Suez region and it's this one all right and we're gonna talk of course also about the Suez can channel in fact, this region has also the name of the the name of the capital is also Suez. Well, let's talk about the channel that it's crossing uh, by dates back from the ancient Egypt. So, the ancient Egypt they started to build the channel of Suez. And it's a human-made waterway that cuts north and south across the Isthmus of Suez. This is the Isthmus of Suez. This is the Isthmus of Suez. The Suez Canal connects the Mediterranean Sea in the north and the Red Sea in the south, making it the shortest maritime, maritime route from Asia to Europe. Since its complete uh, completion in 1869, it has become one of the world's most heavily used shipping lanes. Yes, I think it's uh, more crowded than the Panama Canal. Right, so this was the last region or governorate from Egypt and this is how the map looks
looks like now after I put the comments and note and annotation over it and highlighted all the areas. I hope you like this video about uh, Egypt.